It's release day and we're pumped to rip one of the most popular baseball card sets of the year, 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball. Let's get into it. What is good, sports card collectors? Yours truly will be stepping in for today's edition of Release Day with the heavily anticipated 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Box. And I gotta give a shout out and thank you to the official WAC sponsor of sports card investor, Midwest Cards. Please go visit midwestcards.com for all of your WAX needs. So this year's Topps Chrome is going to have a 225 card checklist with a mix of veterans and rookies the hobby box configuration is going to be 24 packs per box with four cards per pack, and it includes two autos, eight refractors, and four prisms per box. And the base set should include around 25 colored parallels. So let's, let's get into it and see what we can potentially get here today. So I know there was a lot of buzz around the rookie checklist this year. So we have most of the guys that, that most collectors were looking for. You know, the base rookie set does include Wander Franco, or O'Neill Cruz, Jaron Duran, Lars Newtbar, Shane Baz. So from a base rookie standpoint, we have most of the guys that we saw from uh, series one and series two, uh, but there's also an SP extended rookie checklist where you're gonna get those guys Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr., Spencer Torkelson. So those are some of the big chases from a rookie standpoint of who we're looking for. All right, and let's get into it. So I will say, from what I've seen with the pictures so far, I enjoyed the design this year much, much better than last year's. We got Freddie Freeman. All right, we have our first Heart of the City insert, which I'm a big fan of this year. I was hoping that we would be able to pull one of these today. And it's of Aaron Judge, who's having a great year. Jose Abreu and King Albert. Unfortunately, not in a Cardinal uniform as I was hoping for, but nonetheless, one of the generation's best. And yes, the rookie checklist for autos is about 107. So definitely uh, it was, I think a little bit higher last year. So it's nice to see that it was reduced, but there's also a veterans rookie or a veterans auto checklist this year of about 47 cards. So I think Juan Soto might be one of the chases there, but it's good to see that they're, uh, you know, making some changes in terms of the checklist configuration. All right, we got Nico Horner, Starling Marte, Joey Votto, and Connor Wong. Okay. Luis Gill, future stars, Ryan Mountcastle. I know he's having a pretty good year this year for the Orioles. Hey, there we go. We got a Wander Franco. I believe that is the 87 tops insert rookie. I like it, give it a nice little hand clap there. And then we have Alec Manoa of the Blue Jays. So, Spencer Strider, I know he's one guy who's getting a lot of looks for NL Rookie of the Year. He does have a rookie auto in this year's checklist. Doesn't have a base or an SSP, so keep that in mind that Strider, you're pretty much looking for his rookie auto in this year's checklist. Okay, we've got Logan Gilbert, Justin Verlander, Jacob deGrom, and Willie Castro. So, so far, just a couple inserts, two or three. It looks like we got the 87 insert as well as the heart of the city. The one that we're looking for, I believe that comes one per box is pinstriped. So there'll be colored parallels of those as well. So hopefully we can pull a pinstriped of a decent player that comes out of that checklist. We have Tyler Stevenson, Cincinnati Reds. Reese Hoskins who's having a pretty good year for the fight and fills. Ramil Tapia of the Colorado Rockies, and polar bear Pete Alonzo. Like I said, I like the design much more this year than years prior. And, you know, particularly with last year, you could barely read the names. And this year, at least, they, they're doing a good job of, of letting you be able to read the names without the font being so small. Okay. 
Adam Wainwright, Cardinals great. Emmanuel Rivera, Austin Meadows, and Brandon Belt. So some of the other inserts that are also included are future stars and new classics. But like I said, Pinstripe is the one that we're looking for in terms of you know, the inserts in this year's 2022 Topps Chrome. Corbin Burns, Josiah Gray of the Nats. And we have our first autograph of Zach Lother of the Baltimore Orioles. Looks like it's numbered to 499, so I believe that is the refractor. All right. And then we have Vital Bruhan, base rookie. All right, so we got one auto so far out the gate. You know, pitchers are sometimes not the ones that we're looking for, but hey, we still got one more auto left, so let's see who we could potentially get out of here. Here we go, there's a notable rookie, Jaron Duran of the Boston Red Sox. Francisco Lindor. And there is our second auto, Oliver Ortega of the Los Angeles Angels. So back-to-back -back packs there, we were able to pull our auto. Also a pitcher, this one looks like it is just the base version for Oliver Ortega. But hey, on-card autos, you can't go wrong with that when it comes to Topps Chrome. And then last but certainly not least, Mike Trout, who's been on an absolute tear as of recently. Chris Bryant, Chaz McCormick, rookie, Houston Astros, Trevor Story, refractor. Although he's not on the Boston Red Sox, they have him in his Colorado Rockies uniform. And last, John Means, pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles. So one thing I noticed this year's checklist that I was pretty happy to see is that they're including game used relic cards. And uh, I believe it's called Authentics Autos. So I think it's a, a game used relic auto, but the patch card actually includes uh, the serial number sticker. So you can go and look up the day or the game that uh, the jersey was played in by that particular player, which I think the hobby is, it needs more of, is more of that legitimacy of, hey, where did this patch card come from? What game, what day, et cetera. Okay, Eloy Jimenez. We have a future star of Randy Arozarena. You know, a guy who's been really good in the playoffs over the past couple of years for the Rays. Oh, there's a nice Ronald Acuna. Beautiful photo there. Love the refractors. They really pop, especially this year. And last, we have Jake Myers, rookie for the Houston Astros. There's a cool card there. Looks like he just hit a walk off. Luke Williams, Jose Abreu. Next looks like we have our first Prism Refractor. Wow, they really popped this year. Of Ryan Zimmerman, one of the, one of the all-time greats for the Washington Nationals. And Harrison Bader, the Florida Gator, is now on the New York Yankees. I know they're hoping to get him in the lineup at some point from injury. One of the goats, Yadi Molina of the St. Louis Cardinals. Clayton Kershaw. Looks like we have our second prism refractor of one of the hobby favorites, Joe Adele. And then Byron Buxton making a great leaping catch right there. So I will say the card stock does feel very similar to last year's, but overall, I feel like, I feel like it does overall just look much better and uh, and the on-card autos are also great. I know they did it last year as well, and that's what's one of the main staples. But so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far out of Topps Chrome. Shohei Otani, Corey Seager. It looks like we have another Josiah Gray, except this time it is a refractor. And then Eli Morgan, pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. So who do you guys think are gonna win it this year? I mean, the Braves have looked pretty solid from the NL. I mean, so 
that's kind of who I'm looking at right now as a team that could potentially repeat, which would be crazy to see. All right, we have Cedric Mullins, Alex Kirilov, Garrett Cole Refractor, and then Justin Turner of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Brandon Lowe of the Tampa Bay Rays, Jorge Soler, hero in the playoffs last year for them. That's a nice Juan Soto prism refractor right there. Looks like he just hit a ball a mile and is pimping it. Unfortunately, not in a Padres uniform, but hey, we will take it nonetheless. And then you Darvish. Okay, we've got Pavin Smith, D-backs, Trevor Rogers, the All-Star Rookie Cup. I love those alternate jerseys right there for the Marlins. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Prism Refractor. And then we have Josh Lowe, one of the sought-after rookies in this year's set. All right, well, we're mowing them down, taking them one at a time here. It'd be really cool to pull one of those authentics with the sticker included on the patch card. I've always seen that those were in a bit more of the high-end products for tops, but it's great to see that they're starting to add those in now. Kyle Schwarber, all right, looks like we got some shine here, and it looks like we have some sort of aqua wave refractor of Michael Brantley. This guy's been doing it for a long time, and that is numbered to 199. Looks like number 80 of 199 there. Looks like a aqua wave refractor. Really, really nice. I'm, I'm a big fan of the waves. I have a few gold waves myself. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to see that they're in this year's product as well. And then we have Whit Merrifield. Now on the Blue Jays, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, there we go. There's, there's one of the rookies we were looking for, Shane Baz. Also, Jose Siri, who's been having a good year. Oh, wow. So it looks like this is the pinstriped insert that I was telling you guys about. And wow, this really pops. And looks like DJ LeMayhew of the Yankees. Sorry they for getting my hat a little bit into the card shot. I get really excited at times when we pull new cards like this. So it doesn't look like it's one of the parallels, but wow, it really does pop um, a bit more than the pictures sort of, sort of show online. Really beautiful. And the last card is rookie Tyler Gilbert. Okay, Jeff McNeil. Oh, what do we got here? Wow, this looks like a pink speckle if I'm not mistaken, of Freddie Freeman in his Atlanta Braves uniform, which, you know, here in Atlanta, you know, there might, might be a lot of card collectors that are still happy to see him in that Braves uniform. And it looks like this is numbered 183 out of 350. So not bad. Freddie Freeman's definitely a guy who's gonna have some long-term, uh, you know, value in this hobby. And, and this is a card in particular that absolutely pops. And then Corbin Burns, Refractor. And then Nelson Cruz. Jack Flaherty, who's missed some time recently, and hopefully, I think he's just now back in the rotation. Hopefully he can you know, pick it up a little bit than, than, than how, what he's been able to show over the last couple of years. Wilson Contreras, Alex Verdugo, Refractor, and then Brian De La Cruz, Rookie Card. Looks like we have just about three or four packs here left. So hopefully we can get some, some mojo here. Aaron Ashby, Rookie Card. I know this is a guy who throws gas for the Milwaukee Brewers. 
We have Steven Strasburg of the Washington Nationals, Xander Bogarts of the Boston Red Sox, and then Kyle Hendricks. And it looks like an alternate, maybe a city uniform for the Chicago Cubs. So I can tell you one storyline I've been following is, you know, Albert Pujols has chased the 700. He's currently at, I think, 697. I'm hoping it's something that he can accomplish, but uh, it's certainly been one of the best, uh, you know, headlines I've seen in the second half of the season. All right, we have Goriel Jr. of the Toronto Blue Jays. Jared Walsh of the Los Angeles Angels. Looks like our second heart of the city. And it looks like it's the second... Oh, I'm sorry. It is Matt Olson in his Oakland A's uniform. So not in an Atlanta Braves uniform, but the heart of the city cards are really cool. They do a great job of depicting, you know, sort of the city views for wherever that particular player is playing at. So happy to see that we got our second heart of the city. And then we have Jonathan India. All right, we got two more left here. Let's hopefully end this with a bang. Okay, we got Mookie. Looks like we got here. So this looks like the new classics insert of Polar Bear Pete Alonzo. So I'm not too sure if this is numbered. So it looks like it's not numbered. So the white is a part of, of the actual insert and doesn't look like where it's a, you know, some sort of white parallel. But an interesting card nonetheless of one of the hobby's favorites right now in a Mets team that's playing really well. And then, hey, we have a nice Joe Ryan rookie refractor, as well as Brian Reynolds base card. All right, we've got our last pack here. Let's see what we can get. Let's get that last pack mojo. Taylor McGill, who's had a good year on the mound for the New York Mets. Looks like we have our second new classics of Luis Robert, which this one actually looks nice because it almost looks like a color match with the white bordering and the black. And this is also another guy who's been collected a lot since coming into the major leagues. Rodolfo Castro, rookie refractor. Man, these really shine this year. And then last but not least, Trey Ambergri, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, of the Cincinnati Reds. All right, again, I want to thank Midwest Cards, the official wax sponsor of Sports Card Investor. Make sure you go to MidwestCards.com for all of your sealed wax needs. And please don't forget to download the Sports Card Investor app to find trending cards at the best prices in the hobby. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Have a wonderful day.